，你们好，我们上课，同学们好。我们上课。呃、uh, ，just now I saw some of you asked、uh, me to talk about the in-store Chinese keyboard. So let's quickly go over it, and then we start today's learning. Okay. Now, first of all, you open your browser and、uh, type in this address. 拼音搜狗啊，拼音 dot 搜狗 dot com。Yeah, actually, last time I showed I、uh, showed you the the screenshot of this page.、Uh, that's the first step. Now find this website, and then you, if you are using. Window system, window system. Now you can just click here, this button. Now this one means download. Here, the click, click this button, and the download begins. And after that, you can just click the. The file to install it. Where it is set? So when you see this、uh, screen, you just click here. It means install, and then it starts. Yeah, maybe it takes a few more minutes. I've already actually I've already have it here in in my computer.、Um, after class, I hope you may try. Okay. Now this, and、uh, I give your assignment to practice these syllables after class. Yeah, we may read them again. Yeah, to practice. I read. Bian. 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 Okay, we better mute. Uh, now students, better. Uh, you better mute the mic. Uh, cause you know, <laughs> you turn on the mic, everyone hears you. Uh, and uh, I cannot hear anyone. All、right, so just try to imitate the way I read the Pinyin syllables. Boyan bian, poyao piao, moyan mian, de wu an duan, te wu an tuan. Nian nian, le yang liang, ji a jia, qian qian, xi ong xiong. 之外，拽，吃乌安船，日乌沃若，的乌沃多，兹乌沃左。
斯沃索，戈沃国。Okay, now here for these three, actually there are u and the two dots are removed, right? 鸡鱼安卷，鸡鱼安圈，鸡鱼安圈，日乌。安软。Okay, all right. Now you've practiced it a lot after last class. Okay, so I hope you can read the syllables with three、uh, elements:、uh, initial, first, final, and the second final. Okay. Oh yeah, one, some more. 科乌安框，七一安墙，科乌安花，科乌爱坏。Actually, uh, we have、uh, we have uh, how to say that? No, R O U E U U. Ah, these six um single how to say that single vowel finals, right? But only E. U and yeah here U they appear in the middle between a initial and a final right so remember only these three can be in the middle of a syllable. Oh, yeah, good.、Mm. How to know when two dots are to be removed? It only works with G, C, C. If they work with uh initials, only initials G, C, C. Well, take the two dots away. Okay, they are very powerful. G T C. They are very powerful. They don't want to see. Ah,、uh, the two dots, like two eyes. So they took, they take them away. Right?、Mm, very cruel, G T C. Okay.、Mm. And the last time you practiced. These words, yeah, these words.、Mm, now you turn on your mic, and、uh, I will ask you the English word, and you will read the corresponding Chinese expression. Okay. 好的，谢谢，谢谢大家。Now you did a very good job. You're reading the words. We have learned. So today we're going to cover the third part of pinyin. Now, 我们学第三 part three, 三 Now,、uh, for some syllables, we do not spell it.、Uh, just like, uh, for example, uh, we learned、uh, ba, right? Yeah, we read the two two parts separately, and then we. Put them together to combine them to pronounce it, bo a ba bo a ba, um and mo u mu right, initials finals initial final and the tone initial final and tone and po i ao piao 
initial, final, final, and the term. But for some other syllables, we do not read them. Uh, we, we we do not need to uh combine them. They just read as a whole. Now, for example, like this syllable, it is read j j. Yeah, we do not uh spell. We, we do not read the initial and the final and they put together. You just read it as a whole. J. And this one, ch, and sh, So, ch, ch, sh, z. Yeah, you may find that the pronunciation, their pronunciation is very similar to the, fi the, the initial we've just learned in previous lessons, right? The initials, wow, they're almost the same. Yeah, that is the way, yeah, actually, that is the, uh, the way we read syllables like this. Now, similarly, you may infer how to read this one. It is like the, the initial we've just we've learned before. This is z, z, z. So the syllable, the corresponding syllable, is also z, 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 right? Okay. So now let's try reading the first uh, seven. G. Shi Yeah, that is the way we read uh, we read these seven syllables again. Okay, easy, right? Now, let's turn to this group. Now, for this group, now this one is read e. So do you find that it's very similar to the final we've already learned? This one's e, right? E. Anybody is asking question? Why do we need them in the syllables? Yeah, because mm, they need to, uh, these initials need to work, may work with other finals to form other syllables. And we use this form to represent yeah, the pronunciation of itself. Because we have many words read in this way, okay? Yeah, so just remember, this is the syllable. This is not, this is just um, initial. Yeah, initial needs work with the final to form syllables. So we have the, the sound in Chinese spoken language. So we use this form to represent the pronunciation. Okay. Now let's turn back to this one. E. And this syllable is like the final U. So we read it. U. U. And for this one, yep, we read it as U. U. This syllable is read as the final U. Okay. 跟我读. 
一，五，一，一，五，一。Okay, there are syllables, and there are only finals. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing, but you remember, ah,、uh, they are syllables, read just like these finals. E U U, yeah, E U U. And these finals can work with other initials to form syllables, right? E U U, right? Now next to two. Yeah, we have the、um, initial yeah, right? Yeah, we use it. Ah,、uh, we use its sound to pronounce this syllable. Yeah, yeah. yeah this syllable is also read yeah, and we have final yeah, yeah. yeah this syllable is also read. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 跟我读 Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we have four, another four. Now、uh, this syllable is pronounced as in the final. In the same. Pronunciation, yin, yin. Yeah, this one is yun, right? Yun. This one is also yun, yun. And this is yin, yin. Also yin. Oh, sorry, yin. And. This is read yu an, okay, yu an. So this one is yu an, yu an, yu an. Yeah, separately it is yu an, and when we read it faster, that will be become yu an, yu an. So the same, yu an, yu an. Okay. So these are the syllables. The only、uh, they are read as a whole. You don't. You cannot just separate.、Uh, read them separately.、Uh, final and、uh, sorry, initial and final, initial and final. No, they just read as a whole, as a one syllable.、Mm. Yeah, they do not. They are not like the syllables I just wrote here. Okay, they can read separately. Po a ba, mo u mu, po i ao pia. But they do not. Yeah, we do not read them separately. Yeah, they can only read as a whole. All right, follow me to read. 跟我读 ，j, ch, sh, r, z. S, s, i, u, u, y, y, in, in, yang. Yuan. Again, 跟我读 ，z, ch, sh, r, z, c, s, i, u. U, y, y, in, win, 
英、渊。Now, for example, uh, look at the picture. You see a person is uh eating food, so eat to eat. Yeah, that is, 吃吃 means to eat. All right. Hmm. Someone said, "What's the difference between 吃吃吃吃 Okay. 吃吃 Yeah, here the first picture show us uh the verb, 吃 means to eat, 吃 Yeah, the second picture. Yeah, please read it. 纸 Yes, 纸纸 is paper, paper, 纸 So you see, syllables actually they make sense. It carries meaning in Chinese spoken language, right? Chu is to eat. Zhi that is paper. But the initial or the final individually they do not carry meaning. The the, the initial zhi doesn't make sense. But uh, zhi this one. It means paper, right? Now, how can I remove it? How zhi, which means paper. Now, look at this one. Try reading it. Yu. Yeah, the syllable is red. Yu. 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 Second tone. Yu. Yu is fish. Fish. Yu. Yeah, the syllable. Ye. Yeah. Ye, ye is leave, you leave in a trees. Ye, ye. Another one. The syllable is red. Ye, ye. Moon. Ye. Yun. Yun, yeah, clouds. Yun is cloud. Yun. Now look at the, these two. Now this word consists two syllables. The first one is red. U, u. The second, yun, u yun, u yun. Now here in the sky, you see. Dark clouds. That is, wu yun, wu yun, dark clouds. That this picture. Can you read it? Try it. C G. Good. C G. C G. Right. C Ji, si, si, Yeah, ji, si, we've learned si, it before, right? Ji, yi. Now, this one, we can read it as a combination of the initial and the final. Ji, yi, ji. But the first two syllable, we can just read it as a whole. Si, 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 ji. 
，司机，呀，司机，司机，司机 is a driver， 司机，呀，司机，司机，司机 ，OK， 那跟我读，吃，吃。纸，纸，鱼，鱼，叶，叶，月，月，云，云，乌云。乌云，司机，司机。Okay, now here, let's uh do something, um,、mm, like magic. Now, can you put uh two of these eight words to mean eat fish? Can anybody tell me how to say "eat fish" in Chinese? 吃鱼，吃鱼，吃鱼。Yes. No, you are so smart. 吃鱼 right? 吃鱼。吃鱼。Hmm. Very good. So, yeah, actually, he. Oh, yes. 吃鱼 right? He. Remember, he. The third per that、uh, third person pr pronoun, 他 he or she, right? 他吃鱼，他吃鱼。So that 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 actually that's a sentence. He eats fish, right? And、uh, no, you may make another sentence. Hmm. The driver eats fish. The driver eats fish. 吃猪，猪肉。The driver. 吃猪，吃猪，吃鱼，吃鱼。Yes, very good. 吃鸡，吃鱼。Yeah. 吃鸡。吃鱼，司机吃鱼，哈呀，那 that's the sentence. Actually, the、uh, some Chinese sentence in some Chinese sentences, the order of the words, um, is quite、uh, quite like that in English sentences. The subject, the verb, and the object. 司机吃鱼。Mm, but it's only some of the sentences. Just just for some of the sentences, maybe some other orders. Okay, so the uh the one you can learn very easily is the one like subject and verb and object. Ha. Uh, someone asked them、uh, the question. Chu and zhu. Now this one, chu, chu, chu. This one, zhu, zhu. Because it's the third tone. Zhu, zhu, chu, chu, zhu. It seems that when you pronounce this one, the two lips that、uh, tend、uh, tend to go out. Chu, chu, observe my lips. Chu, and for chu, chu, it does.、Uh, the two lips, the lips do not go out so much. Chu,、uh, chu. 吃吃
Okay. And uh, yeah, someone we asked another question. Ta is used for both gender. Yes. Uh, the pronunciation, ta, or the syllable ta, for is for both gender, uh, male and female, no matter he or she. But the written form, the written form of ta, uh, is different for two genders. For women, uh, there's one character. For men, there's another character. So do I make sense? Pronunciation the same, but the the written form two different ones. Okay, all right. Now, what is the difference between ji and zhi? Okay, good question. Ji, ji, zhi, zhi. Also, for zhi, the, the two lips turns uh, ten, ten, uh, tends to tends uh, tend to go out a little bit, yeah. but Mm, and you may feel the, uh, how say that the air, the air comes out, um, with more difficulty for zhi, zhi, but ji, ji, it comes easily. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Later, uh, we are going to have some uh some exercise about uh ji and the zhi, qi and the zhi. Okay. All right, uh, you are interested in the written form of ta, right? Okay, now, ta, uh, uh, right here. The pronunciation, ta, it can be male or female. Uh, for But the written form, ta, this one is for men, and this one is for Women. So you may find something different between the two. Yeah, ta, that's mm, for male, and this one is for female. Now let's practice more of those syllables read as a whole. Now, let's try this one. Now, for the first syllable, we may uh, regard it as the combination of the initial and the final. Le, ao, lao. But this one, shi. So, lao, shi. Lao, shi. Lao, shi. Lao, shi. Which means teacher. Teacher. Lao Shi. Now let's try the next word. Ji Yi Ao Jiao. Ji Yi Ao Jiao. Shi. Jiao Shi. Jiao Shi. Jiao Shi is classroom. Jiao Shi. Yeah, this one. He An Han. He An Han. Zi. Zi. Han Zi. Han Zi. So you may find that I, I use capital letter here because Han Zi uh, means Chinese characters. So that's a proper name for Chinese characters. Han Zi. Mm, We're going to learn a lot of Han Zi. 好,跟我读. 老师, teacher. 老师, 教室. 教室, classroom, 汉字, 汉字, Chinese characters, yeah, like these, these are Chinese characters. Yeah, let's move on. Also, 汉, right? 和按汉, 汉, 
雨，雨，汉语，汉语 ，Chinese language， 汉语，汉字，汉语。Next one， 词，词，第一按点，词典，词典 ，try this one， 日，日，本本，本，日本。日本，好，跟我读汉语，汉语 ，Chinese language， 词典，词典 ，dictionary， 日本，日本 ，Japan。The country, Japan. Now, next to group. 雨衣，雨衣。Now, both of them are the syllables read as a whole, right? 雨衣 This one. 乐玉绿，乐玉绿。绿叶，绿叶。Yeah, these two are also the syllables read as a whole. 音乐，音，音，乐，乐，音乐。跟我读。雨衣，雨衣，绿叶，绿叶，音乐，音乐。Now all those uh words in yellow are. Syllables, yeah, consists of syllables read as a whole. This one, 乌云乌云英语英语 yuan yi yuan yi. 跟我读，乌云，英语，愿意。Remember just now I mentioned 汉语 ，it's the Chinese language， and 英语 ，that's English， the English language， 英语。Okay, now, 汉语 Chinese, 英语 English. Right. Now let me see. Some of you may have. Ah,、uh, Chinese and Han and Han Yu same meaning. Um,、uh, yeah, very very similar. That you can take it as one, uh, as one. It's one thing. Yeah, maybe they are used in different contexts, but yeah, uh, they refer to the same thing. Okay. Now this is the part you like best, because many students ask the questions about these two groups. All right. Now let's read them. One by one first. Ji, yeah. Look at my mouth. Ji, ji. 
the shape of a mouse. I didn't change the shape of a mouse, right? T, T. But when I pronounce T, the air forces out. It forces its way to go out. T, T. If you put your hand here in front, you may fear that the air comes out. C, no air. C, C, it comes from the mouth. The air comes from the mouth. And then next one, C, C, yeah. the shape of the mouth remain unchanged. So you don't change much the shape. C, The air is blocked inside your mouse. And T, T, the air tries a lot to force, to force out. So the air works very hard. And C, and C, the air doesn't want to do very hard work anymore. So yeah, it relaxes a little. T, T, C, right? So you pronounce C, you use the most uh, the force. Yeah, the air tries very hard to come out. Again, C, 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 but the lips remain unchanged. C, C, Uh, the air struggles out. C relaxes a little. G, C, C. And for this group, you may observe the shape of the tongue. Um, for this group, the the uh, I say the tongue tries to block the air, so it has to go up. Curve up, not this way, but this one. Okay, G C C, and for Z Z Z Z, the tongue remain flat. The tongue in your mouth remains flat. Z Z. S and just stay behind the teeth, stay behind the teeth and feel the air. Maybe the tip of the tongue can feel, can feel the air comes out. Yeah. Z, 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 z. Yeah, you, your the tip of your tongue may vibrate a little, you know, with the with the air. Okay, again, z, 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 z. Mm. and the the air the the amount of the air comes out. Uh, it's just as g c c for z. Mm, the air struggles out very hard. And for s, no, just uh, some, uh, a little less air comes out. So try it with z, z, no air comes out. Z, z, a lot. And uh, it doesn't come uh, from the central part of your mouth, maybe from these two sides. Okay, yeah, it forced, forces the way out, so it comes out from the two sides of your mouth. Z, z, that is two sides. Z, and s, s, the same. S, s. So the, the air doesn't come out from the middle of your mouth, just from the two sides, the corner of your mouth. Z, 
吃。So the for z 吃 s one lad, and it just the tip is behind your teeth. So when the air comes out, you may feel yeah the the tip of your tongue will feel uh the air comes out and vibrates a little. So z s s. And the air comes out from the two sides of the tongue tip, the two sides, not from the middle. All right. Yeah, let's try these words because these words maybe the combination of、um, of z c c and z c c. All right. Now let's try this one. Z. 己，自己，自己，积极，积极，积。气，机器，几次，几次，七夕，七。七七次，七次，稀奇，稀奇。妻子，妻子，气死，气死，细思，细思。继续，继续，辞去，辞去。好 ，one more time， 再读一遍。读 ，read， 自己，积极，机器，几次，七夕。七次，稀奇，妻子，气死，细思。继续，辞去。OK， 那
呃、uh, ，Don't worry. Maybe from um, cause uh, z c c and z c c maybe a little bit um confusing or difficult for you to pronounce. Uh, it it won't be a very very uh important part uh important diff uh problem here because we are going to do a lot of practice. You know that practice makes perfect, right? So right now probably you have. Difficulty pronouncing them. No, with the uh, steady proceeding, you will better master the way to pronounce them. Now, here I would like to, to practice this uh, simple sentence. Now, try to read the pinyin here. Just now we learned it. Chi. Chi, which means to eat, right? Next one. Chi yi chi, chi. Now, do you remember chi? One of the numbers we've already learned. Can you tell me chi, the meaning of chi? Oh, you cannot see it. Sorry, I didn't share this. Now, what about that? What about now? Do you see that screen? Okay, how? Now, chi, chi, which means to eat, right? Chi is the number, one of the numbers. So tell me, uh, what's the number? If you can text Chinese character, it's better. <laughs> Try Chinese character. Those who have Chinese keyboard. All right. Now I'll put it here. You see that? Yeah. Qi. Very good. Qi means seven, right? Now, jiga. So this one, zhi. Yeah, this one is red. Zhi. 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 Uh, that's something uh, we call mayor word. You know, when we count things in Chinese, we are going to use major word. Just like in English, we have uh, uh, one piece of paper. One piece of paper um, or a bottle of water. Now, in the expressions like that, piece and a bottle, yeah, mm, the they are very similar to the Chinese measure word. Here, zhi is one of the measure words. Okay. And this one is read ji, right? Ji. Last time we learned ji dan, ji dan. So ji can be chicken. So, chi, 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 chi means to eat seven chickens. Yeah, let's read this. Chi, 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 which means to eat seven chickens. Chi, 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 chi. Okay. Now, everybody try reading it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. If you want to work on more, zi, zhi, si, and a ji, qi, yeah, you may practice this short sentence. Yeah. Zi, ji, chi, qi, zhi, ji. Again, zi ji chi chi zhi ji. Yeah, next time I will check whether you can read this short sentence uh, very well or properly or not. Okay. Now let's turn back. So, what we learned today about pinyin is um, the syllables read as a, read as a whole. We don't need to spell it. Uh, 
I mean, we don't just spell the initial and the finals. We don't need to, right? It reads just as a whole. I cannot see you. Okay. Do you see me now? <laughs> All right. Now these are the syllables. No, the black ones. The black ones. That's uh the black syllables are those we learned today. Um yeah, maybe you need more practice after class. So we'll do we'll read it now again and after class you may turn to this part of the recording and uh, practice more all right now let me mute your mics g g g g g g oh yeah good <laughs> all right <laughs> z oh sorry um because Later, after class, you are going to repeat this part of the video. So I'll mute your mic and I'll do uh, do the reading. Okay. G, C, C, Z. Z, Z, Z. E U U E U E I U I Y U N Y U N Okay. All right, yeah, after class, you should uh, try your best to remember how to read those syllables, all right? <clears throat> yeah, last time we learned some of the words. Now, let's start also with these words. Wo, I, me, right? Shi is a verb, be. Right, like is, are, was, were, at, uh, or am. So, 我是, just like I am. This one, 老师, it is now we mentioned. 老师, 了老,老师, 师 is one of the syllables we just now learned. Yeah, read as a whole. 老师. Yeah, actually, 是 is also the syllable we read as a whole. Yeah, just do it with different two tones. 一 or 四. 老师. And 学生. 西学学. 师翁生. 学生. If it's first tone, 学生. But here we remove the tone, it becomes neutral. So it, we read it as 学生. 学生. China. M A May Go May Go America or United States May Go Okay. Now here Chung Go May Go there are the two countries. And if we add another character to the word, it becomes Chinese people. 
中国人，中国人 ，Chinese people or Chinese and 美国人，美国人 ，American， 美国人。And another word, uh, we mentioned ma, yeah, ma. It usually appears at the end of a statement to ask a simple question, yes or no question. So these are the new words we learned in this unit. 好，跟我读，跟我读 Read after me. 我。我是是老师，老师，学生，学生，中国，中国。中国人，中国人，美国，美国，美国人，美国人，妈，妈。And yeah, also last time we learned the structure. Somebody should, right? Somebody should. Yeah, it means someone is. For example, 我是 just like I am, I am. So yeah, look at the sentence. 我是老师。我是老师 ，which means I am a teacher. I am a teacher. Now, at the end of the sentence, there's a period or the full stop. Now, the Chinese way to write full stop is a small circle. A small circle. Yeah, instead of a dot, it's a circle. Yeah, a small one. 跟我读，我是老师。So yeah, how do you see? I'm a student in Chinese. Yeah, can anybody answer the question? Yeah, you can answer the question. 我是学生。Yeah, good. 很好。我是学生，我是学生，我是学生。Okay, 非常好 ，very good. Yeah, how to say? Oh, I'm a Chinese in Chinese. 我是，我是跟我。中国人，我是中国人， yes, 我是中国人，我是中国人，我是中国人，我是中国人。嗯，呀 ，What about um American？ 我是，我是英国人。美国人，我是我是美国人。美国，美国，美国人。我是美国人。我是美国人。我是美国人。我是美国人。我是美国人。美国人。美国人，中国人
Zhong Guo Ren. So now here, um, we've learned how to say, uh, um, a Chinese, um, American, but. Because mm, you are not Chinese people, you are not American people, so you may need to find out what's the English expression, uh, the Chinese word for your country, right? Now, can you do the research to find out the Chinese uh, term for your for the name of your country? You just as one of the tasks you are going to fulfill after today's class to find out the Chinese word for the name of your country. Yeah, got it? Pakistan. Pakistan. <laughs> yeah, someone said Pakistan. Yeah, Pakistan. Yeah, that is the Chinese word, Chinese term for Pakistan. Ah. Mm, yeah, you may find uh, Ethiopia, Tanzania. So, what's the Chinese word for them? So, next time you oh, are showing... She, yeah, you, you will search online to find out the Chinese term for the name of your country. And uh, you should know how to write it in pinyin. All right. For example, like Zhongguo, the, the pinyin for it is like this. And so at least you should find out the pinyin for the name of your country. Um, yeah, if you like, you can also try the characters. Yeah. So the first task for you to do is to find out the pinyin for your country. Yeah. Also the tone marks. Not only, not only. Yeah, the initials and finals, the syllables with tone marks. All right, good. that's for your, uh, yeah, we're going to reveal the answers next time. Now, let's continue today's work. But actually, some of you are not teacher, right? So we will say, 我不是老师. Yeah, here, 不 means not. So, 不是, I am not teacher. 我不是老师. Okay, so tell me, if you are not a student, if you are not a student, yes, what would you say? 我不是学生。我不是学生。Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. You tell me you're not a Chinese. Right? right? Again, Again, and uh, second tone. And uh, I guess you're not from American, so I'm not American. Right? Okay, now these are the uh, negative form of 是, that is 不是. Oh, sorry. Now here, let's change all the statements into questions. Now, questions. Now, I will ask you, 你是老师吗? Yeah, we add, we attach ma to the statement, 你是老师. So change it into a yes or no question. 你是老师吗? Are you a teacher? So what will you say to answer my question? 我不是老师。老师, great. 
I will ask you the second question. 你是学生吗？你是学生吗 ？Are you a student? 我是学生。哦、oh, ，很好。Yeah. The answer. 我是学生。Okay. I will ask you the third question. 你是中国人吗？你是，我不是中国人。我不是中国人。你是美国人吗？我不是，我不是美国人。我不是美国人。美国人。Yes. 嗯 ，Good， 我不是美国人，我不是中国人，我是学生，我不是老师，我是埃塞俄比亚人。Wow, you use the dictionary? <laughs> yeah, it works very good, very well. All right. So remember those three patterns we learned, right? 我是老师，我不是学生。你是中国人吗？我不是中国人。Okay. Now let's turn to the text. Now that's the text from our textbook. 我不是。Yeah, it's a little bit slow. 我不是。Why I cannot play? Now let's uh please read after me. 你是老师吗？我不是老师吗？你 Okay, now let's read it out. Yeah, you read after me, right? Yeah, let's read the text. Now, 跟我读。你是老师吗？你是老师吗？你是老师吗？我不是老师。我不是老师。老师。我不是老师。我是学生。我是学生。我是学生。我是学生。Okay, now let me mute your mics, and then we work. Uh, you just read and try to follow me. 你是老师吗？我不是老师。我是学生。Again， 你是老师吗？我不是老师，我是学生。Now let's turn to the next question and answer. 好，跟我读。你是中国人吗？你是中国人吗？我不是中国人。我不是 ，sorry， 对不起，我不是中国人。我。不是中国人
，我是美国人。我是美国人。So the girl, this girl asks this girl, "Are you a Chinese?" And the girl answers, "No, I'm not. I'm a American." Okay. Uh, I'll read it one more time. 你是中国人吗？我不是中国人，我是美国人。Okay. So remember, uh, the tasks you are going to fulfill. Yeah, the first one is to find out the Chinese term for the for the name of your country. The, at least the pinyin. With the tone marks, and、uh, the second task is to read the two texts.、Uh, here is one, and、uh, here is the other. Okay, and next time we're going to talk about how to say、uh, talk about your nationalities. Okay, 我是中国人，你呢 ？All right. Uh, let's stop here. See you next time. 再见 Now, if you have Chinese keyboard, you can try. Hi. 再见再见嗯，开拼音 and or characters to、uh, send it to the chatting room. 再见 Yes. 再见。Yeah. I, I saw three of you send the Chinese characters. Now, if you don't have the Chinese keyboard, you may try pinging. Right, like this. Um, it's not very convenient to. To input tone marks, so you just to use the alphabets. Maybe that's no, that's okay. Yeah, 再见 Yes, 再见 All right. 挚爱在基安见 Yeah, everybody. If you don't have the keyboard, Chinese keyboard, you just to try input the pinyin syllable without tone mark. 再见 Okay. See you next time. Bye. Bye.